Now we will see another topic in the computer graphics subject that is a Cohen Southern line clipping algorithm. Okay, so in this video, I am going to explain about what exactly the line clipping is and what are the possible cases for clipping the line. So, when we are going to clip the line, so what are those possible cases and what exactly the Cohen Southern line line clipping is, and we will see the algorithm, and finally, we will learn the example. So at the end of this video, you will get a complete clarity on what exactly this Cohen Sutherland line clipping algorithm is. So what is a line clipping? Line clipping, the word itself it is saying that we are trying to clip the line. So the line that is present outside the window that need to be clipped and the line that is present inside the window that we need to be accept, right? So the line that which is present outside the window, so this is a window. If the line that is present outside the window, so this is a line that is present outside the window, that we need to be clip or we need to discard. And the line that is present inside the window has to be accepted. So these line we need to be accepted. Okay, so this technique is called as a line clipping. For line clipping, the intersection point need to be selected. So here we need to select the intersection point. So that is important. So if you want to clip the line, we need to select the intersection point. It is easy to implement. Line clipping algorithm is easy to implement. And clipping can be done in any particular manner. So now let's see the possible cases for the clipping line. So first case, visible lines. So here in the diagram, if you clearly observe, these two lines are present inside the window. This is a window. Okay. And these two are the lines. So these are the two end points for a line. This is end points and for this line, these are the end points. The two end points of a line is present inside the window. So these two end points are present inside the window. Then those lines are called as a visible lines. So only the point that you have to remember that if the two end points of any line that is present inside the window, then those lines are called as a visible lines. So in this case, there is no need of clipping. So if it is present inside the window, then there is no option of clipping. So we can easily accept the lines. So try to accept those two lines. That is one case. Another case, non-visible lines. That means if two endpoints of a line is present outside the window, then those lines are called as a non-visible lines. So in this case, there is no need of clipping. Here is a, also there is no need of clipping. Why there is no need of clipping? Because anyhow, the two lines are present outside the window. So the, you are not supposed to accept anything. So just try, simply reject those lines. And the third case, partially visible line. So this is the case we are trying to clip the line, lines. So partially visible lines means if two endpoints. So these are the endpoints of a line. So the here this is a visible line. Anyhow, the two points, two endpoints are present inside the window, then it is a visible line. Suppose if two endpoints of a line, one is present outside and another is present inside the window, then those lines are called partially visible lines. So these and these, these two lines are partially visible. Partially visible lines. So in this case, we need to clip. Clipping is required. So for clipping, the main thing is an intersection point is required. So how to clip the line? We will see in the algorithm by applying the Cohen Southern uh, line clipping algorithm. We will see how to clip the line. So you will get a clarity, right? So what exactly the line clipping and what are the possible cases of clipping the lines? Now, what is Cohen Southern line, line clipping? So it is a clipping uh, algorithm which is used to uh, clip the lines that are present outside the window. It divides a two-dimensional space into nine regions. So see here, this is a two-dimensional uh, space. It is divided into nine regions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Total nine regions and efficiently determines the lines and portions of lines that are inside the given rectangle. Uh, rectangular area. So these are the uh, two dimensional they all the two dimensional space is divided into nine regions. Okay. So for each reason we are assigning a code. Okay. That we will see now. So here this is an algorithm. So first try to create a nine regions on 2D plane. So uh, like eight outside and one inside. So this is okay. So these are the eight 
outside 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight regions are outside and one is inside so for a given a line extreme point x comma y we can quickly find its four bit region code so for everything we need to find the four bit region code a region code will be present this is code 1 code 2 code three, region code for region 1 one code region 2 another code region 3 another code region 4 another code like that a four bit region code will be there so comparing the x minimum x maximum y minimum and y maximum so you all know that this is x minimum right and this is x maximum and this is y minimum and this is y maximum so based on the y minimum and the y maximum we are finding the region codes so how it is going to be fine if x is less than x minimum then bit number one is set if x is greater than x maximum then bit number two is set if y is less than y minimum then bit three is set and if y is greater than y maximum then bit four is set what it mean i will tell you see this example so in this example you can get a complete clarity on what it mean so this is region 1 and this is region 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Total 9 regions. So if y is greater than y minimum then top bit is set. If y is less than y, uh, sorry y is greater than y maximum. I am sorry y is greater than y maximum then top is set if suppose y is less than y minimum then bottom is set suppose if x is greater than x maximum greater than x maximum then right bit is set if x is less than x minimum then left bit is set so see here there is a four four bit uh, region code is there one zero zero one so this is so this is top and this is bottom and this is right and this is left bit t b r l so here in this corner top bit this is the topmost bit so try to set it as one bottom no it is not in the bottom so zero it is not in the right side so it is zero and it is in left side that why it is one in the same way second region so is it in the bottom yes it is in the top is it is in the bottom no it is in the right no it is in the left no and third region is it in the top yes it is in the bottom no it is in the right yes is it in the left no and fourth one is this the first bit is in the top no is the second bit is in right no is a third bit is in uh sorry uh top bottom no right no left yes here so this is not in the top and this is not in the bottom this is not in the right and this is not in the left all zeros and here is it in the top no it is in the bottom no it is in the right yes it is in the right side only is it in the left no so no means zero s means one is it in the top no is it in the bottom right it is in the uh, right no is it in the left yes eighth region is it is in the top no bottom yes right no left no it is in the middle so that's why right and left it's both are zero is it in the top no it is in the bottom yes it is in the right yes it is in the left no so this is how the region codes are going to be selected okay now let's have an example so how to keep clip the line by using the cohen southern line uh, algorithm line clipping algorithm let the coordinates of the window are this is the a coordinate b coordinate c coordinate d coordinate now the lines p1 p2 so p1 and the p2 are one line and p3 and p4 is another line so these coordinates are given now we need to find uh, uh, we need to clip the points so let's say this is i1 and this intersection point is i2 and this intersection point is i3 so we need to find the intersection point and try to clip those these part and try to clip these parts so first thing is 
Find the slope. Slope m is equal to y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1. So first of all we need to find the intersection point of p1 and the p2. That is the first line. p1 and p2 means the first line. So y2 minus y1 that is the 80 minus 30 divided by 80 minus 10. So you will get around 6 by 7 that means 0 0.857. Okay. So this you, you, are, you have to find the slope value. So, whenever the, you find the slope value, so try to find out the intersection point I1. So, I1 is you have to find x minimum comma y is equal to x minimum means you already know that 20 and we don't know the y minimum y value. So, find out the y value. y is equal to m into x minimum minus x1 plus y1. So, what is m value? m value is around 6 by 7 that is 0 0.857 and 20 minus 10 plus 30 you will get around 38.57. So, what are the values? The i1 value is 20 comma 38.57. Okay. So, now what will be the i2 value? Now, let us find out the i2 value. I2 is equal to in the same way we need to find out I2 is nothing but x comma y maximum. You don't know the x value right? You don't know the x value. We need to find out and the y maximum is 70. Okay. So that is what is the formula? X is equal to 1 by m into y maximum minus y plus x1. So if you substitute the values you will get like around 56.67. 56.67. So then you will get a uh, intersection point like let me take okay this is your 2D okay so the first line that is I1 this is I1 and this is I2 I1 points are like around 20 comma 38.57 and this is uh, 56.67 comma 70. So this is the first clipping line. After clipping this is the line you got. Now take the second portion. What is the second one? Okay. Second one is for P3 and P4. Try to find out for the P3 and P4. So, what are the P3 and P4 value? 10 comma 10. According to the question, the P3 is uh, P3 is 10 comma 10. P4 is 70 comma 60. Okay. So, now M is equal to Y2 minus Y1. 60 minus 10 by uh, 70 minus 10. So, you will get around 5 by 6.8. Okay. So, the la y is equal to, here only you need to find the i3 value because only one intersection point. So, this is the only one intersection point that we need to be find out. So, y is equal to, uh, let me write, i3. i3 is x minimum comma y is equal to i3 comma 20 and we, we don't know the y value. We need to find out the y value. So, y is equal to m comma x minimum minus x1 plus y okay y1 so you will get around 5 by 6 that is the uh, slope value 20 minus 10 plus 10 is equal to 18.33 so what is the value here so you will get the value like so this is the point intersection point i3 so the i3 is 20 comma 18.33 okay and this is somewhere like p4 so the p4 value is 20 comma 60 already is there okay so this is the i1 and i2 i3 p4 so after clipping so these are the lines that are present inside the window so this is a way you need to apply the cohen's other line uh, algorithm okay so i hope you understand it clearly so still if you are facing any doubts please let me know thank you